All right, what's going on, everybody? It is I. So, I tried doing, um, I posted this on Facebook a little while back, and I had somebody that asked what it was. So, this video is going to kind of show you what it is. This is a repeater controller and a radio. Got a sound card here on the side. All in this little box that sits up here. You can click shut. This connects to the internet to make it go through the network. It is not currently on, the radio is just plugged in. Uh, so it is as simple as ordering this off of our website and then filling out a few questions you get this in the mail a few weeks later and it's as simple as this it, it makes it's being held up by a little push stack so what you do is just simply come down this is actually included and then plug it in the radio comes pre-programmed with 16 different channels, different PLs. This radio is what I'm talking about. So once it boots up, it'll ID whatever person's call sign it is assigned for. Connect to your Wi-Fi. You can see the red transmit radio. And then after a few seconds here, it will connect to our network. I should say group, our group of people. We try to give it time if your power or something runs out and uh, your router needs to come back on before it reconnects. That is being broadcasted to this radio. That's where you're hearing it from. This radio is broadcasting to this. Let's see if we can get anybody. Hey you, don't all pile up at once. I know who you are. You're Dave. You want to say hello to everybody out there in uh, the interwebs? Well, hello, this is Dave, WRJC557, out of Midlothian, Illinois, talking to you off of the Simplex. Love of that. Let's see the lights. Receiving green. Anybody else out there want to say hello? It's a QIP473. Yes, Central Iowa. Saying hello to the net. What's up, Dennis? Anybody else that's uh, out there listening this evening? Joe and good evening Brad. Anybody else out there listening in Radio Land? Well, I guess not. Oh well. I'm out for the moment. 
So this little box might not repeat locally at this current time. This box is only a simplex station, but there is nothing to stop you from growing with this little box. What this little box does is it gives you an entry point and an access point to our network in order to grow. This is a fully functioning repeater controller that is controlling this radio. There is nothing to say you can't tack another radio into this along with a duplexer and make a repeater. The duplexer it costs a lot more. The antenna to actually handle full duplex. Not every antenna handles full duplex. This, you could smack out a homebrew antenna and get away with it. You try doing that with a repeater, good luck. So, this costs about 155 bucks. Or, you can go on our website, find the links to buy this, find the links to buy this, find the links to buy the sound card, and make it yourself. This radio does require a little bit of modification to it to be able to wire up to the sound card over on the side. It is soldered directly onto the pins. And uh, like I say, for 155 bucks, if you prefer for us to make it, or uh, probably about 120, I got a lot of extra shipping costs. Um, if you were to decide to make it yourself, if you have the ability to make it yourself. There's nothing that says you can't put an adapter on this SMA and hook it up and run a wire to an outside antenna if you want to be able to go out on nice long walks or get around anywhere in town so uh, those of you that follow a little bit this was my kids room at one point in time and it is no more but I actually was talking to somebody and they brought up the point that it sits there quiet that is pretty bright actually and with the case actually closed, it looks pretty cool. So it just sits there. And uh, one of them actually thought about putting it in their, their room, their kids' bedrooms. Because it doesn't make any noise. And uh, it would be pretty neat. It kind of looks like Christmas lights. <laughs> Have a good one, you guys. Thanks for watching.